a penny is worth one cent. Don't spend it all in one place. Hi, everyone. What's up, guys? Today, I will teach you how to play Deal or No Deal card game based on the hit TV game show of the same name. You can tell by the size of this product that I purchased it at the Dollar Tree. This is what you get. You get a card that has instructions on one side and a reference guide for the rounds and cash amounts. You have a double-sided bank offer guideline card, 26 briefcase cards, and 26 cash cards. The game is played between two people, and a winner is determined from two games. One player is the contestant, and the other is the host. The host shuffles all of the cash cards and places them face down across the table. Then the host will take all of the briefcase cards and lay them on top of each cash card with the number side up. So as an example, I'll do two cash cards like that and I'll take two briefcase cards. Here's number one, place it on top like this and here's number two. Again, the host will do this for all 26 briefcases. And don't forget to have a pen and paper handy and write down the amounts of money from the game as you'll have to keep track of what is left. For this video, I'm going to play along as the contestant and the host at the same time. So this is what the field looks like with all of the briefcases laid on top of the cash cards. At this point, the contestant chooses any one of the briefcases of its choice and keeps it for the game. Now if you noticed, the 5 is missing. That's because I went ahead and chose the number 5 for this game. When you choose a briefcase, do not look at the amount on the cash card. It's best for you just to give this to the host so that you don't cheat. Now let's play the game. In each round, the contestant will choose to open briefcases and eliminate them from the game. And the number of cases to open depends on the round itself. There are 10 rounds in this game. And in round 1, 6 briefcases need to be opened. I will do that right now. Oh, and by the way, I shuffled all of the cash amounts randomly, so I have no idea what's underneath each one, and I have no clue what I have for a cash amount in my briefcase. So round one, I gotta pick six briefcases to open. Let's start with the very last one, number 26, for the first briefcase. All right, the first amount is... Oh, that stings a little. I'll cross it off once I'm done picking my briefcases. How about number three? Come on, number three, make it small. Here we go. Come on, man! Jeez, unlucky. How about 24? Come on, 24. Small amounts. Okay, I got 5,000. All right, that's pretty decent. How about number 10? Okay, for the fourth briefcase. Come on, number 10, make it small. Jeez, oh, I'm crow. I am not good at this game at all. Whether it's the card game or the arcade game. And even if I played it in real life, I would suck at it. How about 17? All right, here we go. Come on, make it small. There we go, 750. That's pretty good. And for the sixth briefcase, I'll choose number 15. Oops. There we go. Okay. Come on. Small amount. 100 bucks. All right. That's good. Round one is done. Now the host is going to make a bank offer and use the bank offer card as a guide. Now just keep in mind, the host does not have to use this card to make an offer. The host can make any amount of money for an offer as long as the amount is smaller than the largest amount left in the game. But for this video, I'm going to be using this card so I can show you how it works. So it was round one that got done. So I'm going to go with round one right there. Then using the grid for the largest amount of money still left in the game. As you know, according to the list I have over here with all the amounts crossed off from round one, the million dollar amount is still in the game. So I flip it around and go for 
the million dollar slot or row right down here. So with million dollars in round one, the offer would be $15,000. Let's just say that in round one, the million dollar amount has been eliminated. Then I have to go for the next tier over here. And let's say if the largest amount of money I still had left in the game after round one is $300,000 or less, then I would, have, I would have to go for this row right here and so forth. All right, so the offer was $15,000. So the contestant will do one of two things. Either deal, take the offer, and the game is over immediately. Or no deal, and continue to the next round. So I say, no deal. So let's go on to round number two and open, if it gets into focus, five briefcases. Round two, five briefcases. I'll pick number eight. Okay, come on, number eight. Make it small. <sighs> Darn Shun. Jeez, I knew that would happen sometime. Anyways, number 11 for the second briefcase. Small amount! That's what I'm talking about. Five bucks. I'll go with number 19. Okay, come on, baby. Ten bucks. Okay, now we're getting there. We're getting somewhere, for lack of better words. 22 for the fourth briefcase. Come on, baby. Let's keep going. <sighs> Crap. And... I'll go with number six. All right, last one for this round. And that's another biggie. Like I said, I suck at deal or no deal. Bing! I'm only gonna do that once, and that is it. But anyways, it's now time for the host's bank offer. And this time around, the highest amount left is $300,000. So I have to go with this tier right here for round number two. Now let's just say for example that the largest amount left was let's say $200,000 and that amount remained for all the way to the end of the game. I cannot go with this tier right here because with $200,000 left in the game and for round nine the host will be like hey I'll offer you that briefcase that you have that could have $200,000 in it for $237,500. That just does not make any sense. But again, the host does not have to use this card. They can make any amount smaller than the largest amount left. So anyways, I have to go with this tier and go with the offer of $1,500. I say no deal. So now it's time for round number three. With that round, I will open four briefcases. Let's eliminate that penny. Four briefcases. I'll go with unlucky number 13. Will this be it? No, but it's 75 bucks. That's pretty good. I'll go with number 20. Come on, number 20. Make it small. Please? Ooh, 10,000. Alright, how about number one? Watch it be a dollar. Ugh. Jeez. I was wrong. And number... I don't know. Number 12. Come on, baby. Come on. 500. The penny has to be in here somewhere. For this bank offer, the $300,000 amount is still in the game. So I still use this tier and go with round number 3. This time, the offer is $2,500. My answer to that is... No deal. Let's go on to round number 4. This time, I'll open three brief, uh, briefcases. As you notice, it's going down by one each time until the last rounds here, the last five rounds that is, are just one briefcase apiece. Okay, three briefcases. Number nine, I'll go with you next, or first, for this round. Anyways, what we got? <laughs> A penny. It's worth one cent. Don't spend it all in one place. Perfect. It's gone. Phew. All right, how about number 25? Keep making it small. Come on. Well, there goes my dreams. And number 21. 
I guess I don't really care at this point. Well, there's the cost of a Nintendo Switch. I'm gonna scribble off the amounts going forward, so... The newest largest amount is now a mere $50,000, so I can't use this tier anymore. I gotta go to the next one down. And that was round four, right? $550? No deal! Let's go on to round number five. Two briefcases. Oh yeah, I gotta put the uh, checklist back on. The, uh, the, the footage, that is. Okay, I'm gonna pick number 16. Please don't want to be $50,000. Okay, there's 400. I'm gonna scr scratch it off right now. And number 18. Come on, baby. Come on. Ooh, that was close. Let's get rid of that 25,000. Okay, so that was round number five. Back to the bank offer. So it's still at this tier because I still have 50,000. As long as I don't lose the 50,000 and the 1,000, I'll be just fine. So that was round five. So the amount is $700 for the offer right there. I say no deal. Round six. Going forward in each round, it's just going to be one briefcase per round. I'm going to pick number four. What will it be? 1,000. Ooh, I'm cutting it close here. Back to the offer. 50,000 still in play, so it'll be round six. $1,200. I say no deal. I want that $50,000. Okay, round number seven. I'll pick... Well, number seven. Seven and seven, right? This has to be a good thing to come. Hey, there we go, 50 bucks. Okay, back to the offer. 50,000 is still in play. That was round number seven. So the offer is 1,500. No deal. Round number eight. I'll pick number 23. Here we go. 200, all right. Back to the bank offer this time. I have, let's see, 50,000 still in play. That was round eight. So it's $1,900 for the offer. No deal. Round number nine. I will pick number two. At this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and zoom a little bit. There we go. All right, what will it be this time? 25 bucks, all right. Okay, so now, with this bank offer, the $50,000 still in play. For round nine, the offer is what? $2,200. I say, no deal, of course. The tenth and final round is different compared to the rest. Instead of simply choosing the remaining briefcase and just eliminating it outright, the contestant can choose to either keep the briefcase that they chose at the start of the game and eliminate the other, or they can trade briefcases, keep the new one, and eliminate the other. Now, as you can see here on the list, the last two remaining amounts left are $1 and $50,000. I've made my decision to keep the briefcase number five. So I'm just gonna eliminate this one and just toss it to the side. So, did I pick a good briefcase or like I said earlier, am I just that bad at deal or no deal? The amount I won is... Phew! 50000 Not too shabby. You know what? I'll take it. Better than $1. Here's number 14 if you want to see the dollar. There you go. That is how a game is played. But one game is half the battle. For game number two, the host and the contestant trade positions. The player who wins the most amount of money between both games is declared the winner. And that is how you play Deal or No Deal card game. That's gonna do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more. And don't forget to check out my gaming channel, Marcus P. Gaming, for video game let's play content. I will see you later, but until then, like always, take care.